Once you have downloaded the leveling plate component installer, you'll run through the installation and make sure it's pointing to the correct data directory. So the leveling plate component allows you to add a plate as a miscellaneous member to the bottom of the columns that have a user base plate applied for anchor bolt plans. So it'll duplicate the shape of the base plate with the options to add in a shelf dimension, a plate thickness, and the hole size and type. So I'll go ahead and add in a shelf dimension that will add in on every side so I'll put in one inch here and then my hole settings I'm gonna leave at matchable so this is gonna match the holes that are used in my base plate I also have a grout hole so it did duplicate that grout hole as well so when I select this now you can see that it is a miscellaneous member and I can see that in my model tree You can see the grout hole here, and if I edit that, it will say that it is a grout hole. Now when I come back and edit this, maybe I want to change it off a of matchable, and I also want to just override that and set it to an oversized round, and maybe make this an inch and a half. And now you can see this is an oversized round hole. I can select multiple columns at once that have different base plates on it. So I added in here a round and an L shape. I also had that cruciform one that had additional holes. Maybe I'll just put a quarter inch for my shelf dimension and I will leave this at matchable. To see it, I added it for my round. It also added it for my cruciform. And I have it for my L shaped as well. I can add in an advanced selection, so maybe I just want to select, I already have this saved, but I have an advanced selection to select all of my base or my columns that have a specific base plate, maybe my BP1. And then I can go ahead and apply my leveling plate. Now to take a look at the detail, I will want to detail this with templates. And you can see that the hole dimensions are called out. I have my grout hole even called out. And I also have my plate dimensions. And now I can also detail the erection view. So maybe I want to detail my AV plan. Come in my settings, set this to wire, and then in my annotations, I'll click on dimension anchor bolt layout.
Now, when I take a look at this anchor bolt layout, you'll see that the polygons are there for my leveling plate, but nothing is called out for that leveling plate. So to get that to call out, I can go into my display options and turn on my show hidden members. Because not everyone's going to want that information called out. So if I come in here, I have that turned on. I can go into my erection view cleanup and I'll turn on my piece mark and my section size for my miscellaneous members. And now you can see everything's called out. So once it's called out, then I can go back into my display options and turn off the show hidden members. And now I would just want to clean up that information a little bit. So I can move that piece mark, move the section size and clean that up to how I would like that. The last thing to cover is that there are settings for these defaults. If I go into my project settings, my plugin default and component, 